Let's get started then on the uh, nitty gritty steps that you need to do to improve the tune, how to tune the M50 manifold. You did the swap and you're asking yourself, okay, what is next? What can I do? And do I even need to tune the stock ECU for the M50 intake swap? This is a question, again, that is um, discussed very actively or has been discussed in the past. I mean, this swap has been done for over 20 years now. Um, there's still some opinions uh, pro and con against it, but uh, I would say the M50 uh, swap is worthwhile. So, and can you uh, run it on the stock ECU without changing the tune? Uh, yes, you can. Should you tune the stock ECU for the M50 intake swap? In my opinion, the answer is yes. Uh, the stock ECU will adapt to the new intake and it can be run as stock, it will adapt, um, but the full power potential definitely will only be achieved with the proper ECU tune. So you have a couple of options here. First of all, you're not inclined to dive into this tuning thing, uh, DIY tuning MS41. So you just want to, you know, get something that is working, that has been tried, true and tried. So your first option would be to seek a reputable tuner and just buy a tune or have the tuner do the tuning for you where well, there's nothing wrong with that. There's lots of companies that have experience in this for many years. You can buy a tune, they will flash it, and then you uh, will see the difference. So that's one option. Other option is you go to eBay and buy a generic M50 tune file, which are being sold online. Um, the problem with these are that these are more or less just generic tunes uh, copied over and over again and the quality of the tune is let's say somewhat questionable you can flash it and just drive it will it uh, be the best option i don't think so out of those three so last option is you want to learn you want to do it yourself you want to indulge yourself into the tuning world ms41 tuning so start reading uh, online what do you need to do to be able to tune MS41. There's freeware available that you can download. The cables are not that expensive and then you're able to do it yourself more or less if you're willing to spend the time studying the topic. So let's get cracking. decided to do the tuning yourself and chose option three. This is perfect, great. Where do we start and what should actually be tuned? This is another question that comes uh, and goes all the time. So these three steps, again, it's not something I came up with. This is something I have just gathered and tried uh, over the last year or two on uh, my engine, on my swap. So. These are general steps to tune for the M50 manifold swap and in essence actually these steps can be applied to any engine modification that you have done or even tuning a stock M52 which will improve uh, power a little bit. So this is more or less also could be considered a universal guide on those uh, engines, ECUs, what to do if you've done something, let's say a hot cam shaft swap or other mods um, to start tuning and to have an idea of where to start. So the basic tuning steps are, first of all, you need to verify the uh, VANOS set points of the ECU, the on-off or more or less more the uh, offset point in the uh, RPM range of the VANOS. And if you don't know what VANOS means or understand the function, I suggest to stop and pay someone else to do the tuning for you or learn about it because this is a basic thing that uh, anyone who is inclined in tuning BM, old, older BMWs should know what it means and what the function is. So this is something we need to check first of all. Uh, secondly, fueling is important, the fuel tables, um, it's not um, something that is critical because the ECU, stock ECU will adapt, but if you want to fine tune it to be sure to get the uh, uh, AFR and Lambda right you do need to tune this so because uh, the different airflow characteristics uh, will require some fine tuning 
of the basic fuel maps to get it perfect. This is the second step. A third step, final step would be um, to tackle the ignition tables, uh, ignition advance, raising ignition advance in the areas of the map uh, during uh, uh, what uh, wide open throttle mainly. Um, of course, if you raise the spark advance, ignition advance tables by a couple of degrees, depending on how high you want to go, you do will have to run higher octane fuel, uh, premium or super plus um, 98 octane or better 102 if you want to go all out. Otherwise, you will be not limited in a way. And with running higher octane fuel, you can raise the uh, ignition maps quite a bit. So, and another word of caution here, uh, tampering with the ECU maps and any consequences thereof in terms of legality and potential damage to your engine is of course at your own risk. This may not be legal in the area where you live, so this is completely up to you if you want to do this and risk it. Also risk uh, tuning, uh, be careful and changing maps that you don't damage your engine of course.